Would you let me drive this? Drive it. Uh, yeah, what about Richard Hammond? Don't miss the world premiere of the new show Richard Hammond's Crash Course. Mondays at 10 after Top Gear, only on BBC America. Hello, Ed and Nesde. We're going to talk to you about how Lamborghini reserved a mythological and intimidating name. The Nürburgring isn't very friendly to Honda CRVs or people who drive them stupidly. Celine may have another go at a supercar, plus, we got a hump day girl of the week. What's up, everybody watching this show right now? I'm Derek D. And this is Fast Lane Daily with a huge new monitor back there. You see that? Of course you do. Crew cam. <laughs> All right, it's Wednesday. Are you pumped? Yes, let's do it. Let's talk with dominance today. This is my dominant voice. <laughs> so, Lamborghini has filed for a trademark of the name Damus, which is a Greek word meaning dread. Hopefully it isn't a flop like that movie, Judge Dredd. That's right. Kat's never even heard of that movie, have you? No, I have no idea. No. Damus is also the name of the son of Ares and Aphrodite in Greek mythology when he was the personification of terror. Which, when I think of a car, terror comes to mind. I don't know. We aren't sure how Lamborghini will use this name, either for their upcoming SUV, which we definitely hope will have a terrifying V10, or maybe for the upcoming Gallardo replacement. Either way, all I got from this is that their next Lambo will involve dread and terror. Two things I usually don't want with a car, Ian. I love it. Oh, you do love it? Yeah, I love dread and terror. Dread and terror? You love dread and terror? Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> For most car enthusiasts, the Nürburgring is like the holy grail of proving grounds. It has a lot of history and it needs to be preserved. It also is one of the only places in the world where almost anyone can bring any vehicle and have a go on the track. I mean, I did it in a minivan, and that same day that I was there, we actually saw a dude driving in a huge camper with like a bunch of people in it. So, you know, anything can drive on that track. Although sometimes we forget how dangerous it can be, which two passengers in a Honda CRV just experienced after losing control on a fast corner recently. As you can see in this video, the CRV is going way too fast and starts sliding before the driver overcorrects and sends the vehicle into a double roll that clears the gates. It just looks like the back of this thing exploded with luggage and whatever else was in there. I also think there was way too much weight in the back of it from how much stuff came out. Anyway, two cameras caught the flip, and according to reports, the passengers were in relatively good condition, so no one seriously hurt. That's a good thing. And a reminder, you need to know your car, okay? In this case, you're in a f***ing Honda CRV, not a Pagani. You need to know the track you're on, which is the famous Nürburgring, and it's thin, it's narrow, it's got a lot of quick curves, it's long, okay? And you need to know your own skill level, which obviously for you is not good. It's a CRV, all right? It's not a Porsche 911. Know what you're driving, right Ian? Yes. Okay. The Celine S7 is ranked as one of the most inspiring supercars ever made, and it makes top 10 lists every day among enthusiasts' favorites. I wasn't aware people wrote out their top 10 list of supercars on a daily basis. I do it all the time. Do you? Yeah. Wow. Either way, if you're a fan of the Celine Mustangs, then we have some news for you. Celine and Ford are reuniting in a plan to produce a new mid-engine exotic to follow the S7. You remember the kind of performance the S7 achieved in the year 2000? 750 horsepower, twin turbo, 0 to 60 in 3 seconds flat, almost 250 miles per hour top speed. Remember that? then you knew it was awesome and still is awesome today. So where can Celine go from there? Well, pictured here is the S5S Raptor that was shown at the New York International Auto Show four years ago, which, as you can see, I saw in person. And now it appears the reunited partners are going to give it another go with this as the starting point. It'll probably be a while before we see anything, but for now, SMS will be producing a tuned Camaro within a year. And no, I don't mean the standard messaging service. CVC, the majority stakeholder in Formula One, is considering selling 20% of the sport to investors for about $2 billion. Old Bernie here and his 5.3% stake won't be affected. This is interesting because it values F1 at $10 billion. Oh, is that it? Just $10 billion? Yeah, it's not that it's not much. Yeah, it's just $10 billion. Why don't we buy it? I know, we could buy it. All right. Yeah. 
Hey, you guys know what day it is? Of course. I said at the top of the show. Hump Day Girl of the Week. No, it's Wednesday. But oh. it's you're right, Kat. It is Hump Day Girl of the Week. Close. And boom, here it is. It's Jessica Brown. That's Jessica with a K. This model's from Baton Rouge, Louisiana. And apparently was a soccer star in college. Gotta love those athletic chicks, right, in? Yes, sir. Indeed. Besides that, we also hear she's applying for this year's Gumball 3000 and her fiance's tuned Challenger with apparently over 800 horsepower. Wait a second, fiance? No, Ian, it's not. <laughs> Either way, Jessica, you're hot and your FLD is Hump Day Girl of the Week, although you're making pretty much the same face in all of these pictures. I've noticed. Yeah, I'm just saying. Thanks to FLD fan Greg, whose YouTube name is Voodoo Crew, for the suggestion. Well, that'll do it for Fast Lane Daily today. Half of the week is over, folks. Almost there. It is. I'm Derek D. We're on Twitter. Follow us there. We're on Facebook. Like us there. We're on YouTube. Subscribe to us right here. You thought the screen froze. Ah. Bye. <laughs> it's the Fast Lane Daily team on assignment. Uh, excuse me, sir, can I drive this truck? Cool. So push it up. Down! Yeah! In and down! I suck. How's this going? Nice. The Nurburgring, the Nurburgring, the Nurburgring, the Nurburgring, the Nurburgring, the Celine may have another go at supercar. What about Richard Hammond? Would you let him drive it? I think, I think the answer is no all around. Well, better luck next time.